guys, I'm Kirsty and welcome to your K-Bound fitness session today. What I'm going to do um, is take you through a, a, a core blast session today. Um, so yeah, just focusing on all the areas around the core, in through the abdominals, into the lower back, working some exercise standing, some exercises on the floor and some exercises on the rebounder. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to do a wee bit of a warm up and we're ready to get or get set straight into our, our core session. So yeah, if you're good, I will. Um, you, we're going to start in a standing position. So if you'd like to come up into standing, you might want to have a mat with you just to put on the floor for your um, lying exercises. And obviously, we need the rebounder as well. What we're going to do, guys, is we've got twenty exercises back to back, and we're going to work in each of the exercises for thirty seconds. And we have had a short five second rest in between each of them. Okay, so if we're good to go, I'll put on the music and we can get ourselves started. Our first exercise guys is we're into a wide stance. We come into that low squat. We're having our hands at our, our temples and we're just going to tip top side to side. Okay? So that nice wide stance, sink down into that wide squat and we're just crunching to one side, back to the centre and then the other side. We're keeping that chest nice and lifted. Try and keep the elbows pressed back. So we open the chest up and we're just taking the elbows down towards the thighs, working into the obliques as we just twist side to side. Okay. Good. From here. Take that right leg back, lunge into a lunge position. And a stationary lunge and we twist. We are twisting over our left leg. So twisting to the left hand side. So our right knee is dropped down to the floor and we get that nice twist repeatedly to the right, to the left, over that left leg. My eyes are just following my hands. So I'm rocking my pelvis under to keep the core engaged through one, bring it back to the centre. Good. We're going to change legs. So drop back with that left leg this time, left knee drops, and we twist to the over our right leg. So our pelvis is nicely rocked under. So it keeps our core engaged and it keeps our butts engaged. And we just Get that nice quarter turn twist over that right leg, back to the centre. Nice twist. Lovely. Two, one. We're back to standing guys. Elbows up here, we take the opposite elbow to the knee. So our left knee, left knee and right arm. Just twist, twist and open, twist and open. So we're keeping our arms, elbows up at shoulder height. We're getting that nice twist as we crunch, bringing that knee towards the elbow. And open out the chest and open out that hip as we extend. So twist and extend. Okay, oh, lost my balance last year, but same on the other side, get it, guys. So elbows up, right leg. So right leg comes across. Right leg across, twist, twist. So we're twisting down that left elbow towards that right leg. So keeping the elbows up at shoulder height. After this one, guys, we're onto the floor and we're into a plank. So nice twist, bringing that knee up towards that elbow. Okay, onto the floor, team. We're into plank, widen the feet, and with your right arm, we touch our back, we come out to the side, touch the temple and down, and then off the, and keep, sorry, keep on with that right arm. So, right arm out, centre down. So back, salute, temple down. Back, salute, temple down. Keeping that core tight, Keeping the butts engaged, engaging the thighs. We quick rest. Okay, same on the other side. Left hand. So widen the feet into that plank to start with. Touch the lower back. Take 
keep the hand out to the side, touch the temple, and then down to the floor. Same arm, touch the lower back, out to the side, temple, and down. Nice and slow and controlled in this one, guys. Okay, so no rocking through the pelvis, and down. The next one, we're lying on the floor, on the back. So we're on our back. We bring in that right leg, drop it out to the side, back into centre and extend. Same leg, extend and in. So we lift it up, we drop it to the side, back to centre, extend. Curl it in, drop to the side, back to centre, push it out. Curl in, drop to the side. Keeping the pelvis on the floor, guys. Two, one. Let's change legs. So opposite leg. Shoulders on the floor, pelvis on the floor. We bring it in, drop it out to the side, bring it back to the center, extend that heel. Same leg, out to the side, back to center, drop out. As you drop it out, try and keep the foot off the floor. So extend in. Drop to the side, keeping the pelvis on the floor, not rocking through that pelvis. So that means you just shorten the drop to the side. That's fine. Okay, come up. Into V set, guys. Two, one. So we lift the legs, we lift the hands, and we hold it in a static V set. Chest is lifted so that it keeps the back nice and flat. Hands are facing the ceiling to open up the chest. Legs are just lifted, or you can drop the heels onto the floor, whichever works best for you. Pull the shoulders round and back, and lift up that chest. We're on to our rebound, our next guys. Drop the shoulders, or drop the legs down. On our backs, we're on to reverse curls. The legs are up, curl up to the ceiling. So my hands just gently push down on the rim. My feet directly above the hips, and I'm just gently lifting the tailbone and the pelvis off the floor. So there's no swinging in these legs. I'm just pressing the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. Good. Slowly on the lower. Push and slow. Okay, keep the legs here, guys. We scissor. So we take the legs out to the side, out, and we have that nice knee crisscross. So we're alternating our front foot. Good. And that lower back is pressed into the mat. We must keep the contact with the lower back in the mat. My feet aren't coming too far apart, just slightly wider than hip distance apart. But I'm pulling my tummy in and I'm pressing that lower back into the floor. Two, one. Okay, from here, we do a starfish crunch. So our wide arms, wide legs, wide, and then we crunch. Out and crunch. Slowly lower and crunch. Slowly lower. Up into that wee ball. Slow it extends out and wide and crunch it nice and quickly. So it's a power crunch and a slow control lower. Power crunch, slow control lower. Okay, good, good. One more. Slow down. Okay, legs up again. Above the hips, we flutter. So we flutter the feet this time. I want you to keep your legs above the hips, okay, because that makes sure that your lower back stays on the mat. If you drop your legs down, there might be a tendency to arch through the back and take that away from the mat. But by pushing that down, we're engaging the core automatically. We're just getting those lovely wee flutters, pointing the toes. Flutter, flutter. Two, one. Okay, bring the knees into bend and bend above the hips. We extend away with the left leg, extend the left and pull in, then opposite leg. So we alternate the legs, pressing away with the heels, keeping those, that lower back pressed into that rebounder. That is key, guys. Two, one. Okay, 
chest. Okay, so push away to the heel, your leg. Push away to the heel, your leg. Get onto the floor again after this one, team. Okay, excellent. Two, one, off we come. Into plank. Plank position. So just hold it in plank just now. Okay, bring the feet together. And then we tap out. Right, left. Right, left. So nice wee tap out. Keeping the butt tight. So we're rocking that pelvis under. And just nice taps to the side. Lovely. Keeping the shoulders pulled back. Two, one. Drop it down. We quick rest. Hot hands, girls. Guys as well. So into plank. I want you to widen the feet this time. Bring the hands in together. And we lift and lower. We lift and we lower. Okay? And there should be no rocking through this pelvis. Engage the thighs, engage the butts, engage the tummy. As you lift your arm up. Lift. Lovely. Three, two, one. Come down. Roll over onto your back. Okay, hands out. We lift the knees up and we tip top side to side. Okay, so my arms are out straight out from my shoulders. If you want more of a challenge, take the legs up. But the important thing is the shoulders stay in contact with the floor. So they don't lift up. So as soon as you feel your shoulders lifting off the floor, that's as far down as you take the legs. Okay? So tick tocking them side to side. Bring them back up to the center. Keep your hands here. Alternate leg lowers. So we lower, lower, and lift. Change legs. Lower it down with that nice straight leg. Oh, feel it in the core. Come on, that lower back, even though we're on the floor, it must stay in contact with the floor. So push it down as we slowly lower those legs. Nice and controlled. Nice and slow. Lovely. Two, one. Drop the knees down. Last exercise, guys. Hands down on the floor and we lift the bridge. Lift up, lift up into bridge. So we're squeezing our butt cheeks together. We're pushing the pelvis up to the ceiling. Our chin is just nodding down towards the chest and our gaze is looking over our knees. Knees directly tracking over those feet, those toes at hip distance apart. And push up, tiny wee bit more. Push, squeeze the butts up, lift those hips. Two, one, and then very slowly, lower down. Lower down. Yeah, so that lower back comes onto the floor. You can extend out the feet. Just allow the feet to drop apart. Have the hands out by your sides, palms facing the ceiling. Nice big deep breath in through the nose. We pause and then slowly out through the mouth. And again, big deep breath in through the nose. We pause and slowly out through the mouth. Okay, from there, bend both feet and just place the elbows into the floor and push yourself up into sitting. Okay, lovely, well done guys. Good wee core workout there, yeah. Combination of some static exercises and some dynamic exercises, just to mix it all up, working through all the different planes and motions. So hope you find you got a good core workout there. But what we need to do now is we need to stretch off. So join me, get, grab a wee drink, a wee wipe, put on something nice and warm to keep, you, um, to keep your body temperature cosy while we do our stretch and I'll see you in a wee minute.